Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Here's your boy, Forex Noip. Alright, today what we're going to talk about is support and resistance on Forex. And pagbago lang kayo sa channel ko, please click subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo whenever I release Forex knowledge and some informative videos to help you with your Forex journey. So guys, ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin is support and resistance. Ano ba yung support and resistance? Madalas natin itong naririnig sa mga forex traders, sometimes also with the stock stock market traders and all that. So ngayon, pag-uusapan na natin. Okay? So, let's get started. First, let me tell you on this video, what will you learn? Today, you will learn what is the theory behind support and resistance. Today, you will also learn what is the relationship of support and resistance to your take profit targets and stop loss points. San ba natin dapat nilalagay ang take profit targets natin and san ba natin nilalagay ang mga stop loss points natin. And bigyan ko kayo ng isang simpleng trading strategy using support and resistance. Okay? First and foremost, before we continue, uh, gusto ko lang malaman nyo that support and resistance is not the holy grail. Okay? Uh, I will teach you a trading strategy but it doesn't mean that it's going to get you into a 100% um, win rate. Okay? Uh, this is just going to help you puzzle together what your probable trading strategy is going to be. Okay, so let's move on. Laki natin ng kwan tito para medyo. All right. So what is support? Support is a price point that had shown a history of where the market buyers rallied and had shown a significant price movement. Okay. So ang support and resistance. Unay natin yung support. Ang support is yung nasa baba. It is, it's like, it's considered like the bottom. Um, yung in-explain ko sa ibang videos ko, ito is yung parang unan, support, pababa. So, yung pinakas floor ng price that's been going on is most probably the support. Meaning, yung mga sellers, they have gone down, um, push the price down very cheap okay at least for that um, significant time frame so sa, sa time frame na to we're using as an example we're using a daily chart so again a daily chart in my previous videos i had explained this one candle is equals to one day dyan naglaro ang mga prices or mga traders retail trader man yan or market movers or what not. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, pag bumaba na yung support or yung price sa, sa pinakababa, most probably, the price of that currency pair is already at its lowest point. Pwedeng ganun yung nangyari. Let me go to the real charts and show you. Okay. So, here we are at USDJPY. And this is the daily chart. Okay? Uh, pag pumunta tayo sa monthly charts, ganito ang itsura niya. Pag sinabing monthly time frame, one candle is equals to one month. Okay? Ito, makikita nyo sa, sa chart na to, ang palitan ng US dollar at Japanese yen. Dito sa baba, makikita nyo yung year. Right? Now we see, if I hover my mouse, you'll see at the bottom, September 1, 1995. Okay? Sobrang tagal na yan. And then we go to all the way to 2020. Right here. Okay? So, sa monthly charts, makikita nyo, Tantingnan na lang natin yung history. Okay. History is up until 1994. Right? Kung mapapansin nyo itong part na to, lagyan natin ng guhit para obvious. Itong linyang to, 
Diyan umabot ng pinakamababang presyo ang palitan ng dollar yen. So this is our support. Right? That. Now, I'm using a monthly chart. Right? I'm using a monthly chart but support and resistance can and will be available at any time frame. The only rule I have is the larger or the bigger your time frame holds more weight than the smaller time frames. Okay? Wala naman masyadong gumagamit ng, ng, ng monthly time frame. Ang... Um, issue ko lang dito is and, and it's very critical is for example the price bumalik tayo sa March 2 of 2011 kung yung price na to is naandito na most likely yung mga tao since meron tayong resistance in the past yung mga tao would most likely uh, push this upward kung makikita nyo Uh, meron ng binaba niya hanggang sa nung March or July 11, it went down and tested the resistance or support that March, March 1, 2011 did. Naglaro ng mga ilang buwan dun. Tapos, ayan na. The rally going up. Right? So, How do you know? Okay, sige. Po, Forex Noypi. Question. Nakita ko na na ang ibig sabihin ng support is a price level that is showing a significant price drop or a selling uh, where the price had rallied by the sellers and then um... show the significant price movement. Okay, sige, gets ko 'yon, Forex na IP. Pero pero paano ko malalaman kung ano yung tamang resistance or support, sorry, sorry. Ano yung tamang support? Let's get into an example and move into the daily charts. Okay? Ganito kasi 'yan. Mga IP. The support and resistance, there could be and there will be times that these points or these levels will be tested. Pag sinabi kong level, price level, hambawa ito. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, this price level, right? Tingnan natin. This price level, was tested. Right? Makikita nyo dito sa part na to, it was tested once and it was tested twice. Okay? Hanap pa tayo ng ibang example. Here, ang ibig sabihin nito, false breakout. Okay? I'll explain that later on in this video. Um, but here, our support was broken and it was challenged um, our sellers had rallied so much did not get the chance to break it or had gotten the chance to break it and our buyers rallied after a day and then rallied back up okay hanap tayo ng isa pang example let's go to how about So ko ng Euro. Remove the drawings. Let's go to Euro. JPY. Okay. Have a good example here. Okay. So this is a good example here. I'll show you. So, mapapansin nyo, this price drop. Okay. Itong price drop na to, just make this color black. in a little bit. Okay. Itong price drop na to nangyari tapos if you will notice it stopped here. Right? Dito sa zone na to to Miguel. The way to know if you have a support upcoming 
or a resistance upcoming is to look left. Okay? We will scroll down to the left. Bakit biglang tumigil si price dito? Ano ang mindset ng mga market traders? Because they looked left. They looked left and they saw this. Okay? This was a previous resistance that occurred and it happened, it just so happened that in the past, this previous resistance was also challenged to become, I'm sorry, this previous support was also challenged to become a previous resistance, right? Usually, para malaman nyo that a price would most likely bounce because there was a previous resistance, you have to look to the left. Next rule. The way to know if your support, what you're thinking is going to be a support, is a strong price or strong level, is it is, it was challenged and tested to become previous resistance like this. Okay? Tingnan nga natin itong level na to. Yes, it was broken couple of days, couple of times. Pero itong pagbagsak na to, malalim to. Malalim to and it did bounce. So it must have been a strong support in the past or resistance. Scroll down pa tayo. Ayun, that is our answer. Kita nyo to? Can you see that? This is the reason. Okay? Lalagyan natin ng highlight, mga Kanoy P, para kitang-kita. You see this bar right here? There. Kita nyo ba yan, mga Kanoy P? Yan. Yan. Kulay po lang red or kulay po lang red. <laughs> kulay red na bar. It's called a pin bar. Okay? Lakayan natin ng konti. Kasi explain ko sa inyo ng very, very light kung bakit naging strong to. Ang nangyari po dito, mga Kanoy P, is ganito. So, the price opened here. Okay? And the sellers pushed it so hard down to this level. Yes, the sellers pushed it down to to that level. However, at the time it reached this zone, the buyers dominated and pushed it back up to end the day. Right? It pushed it back up. More so, even more so, the buyers had more power to even stretch it up to a much more significant level. Right? Mag-scroll right tayo. Makikita natin. Um, it, this is the highest point so far. But if we look at it, it rallied back down. Right? It stopped in here. So, tumigil dito yung, yung pag-rally ng mga buyers. But from here, going there, that is a huge rally from the buyers. Okay? Tanggalin natin to. That alone says a lot about why this is a strong level. Okay? That is our support. Okay? Let's go back to our slide. All right. We're back. So that's pretty that pretty much sums up what is support. Let's go to resistance. Resistance is exactly the opposite of support. Okay? It's a price point that had shown a history of where the market sellers rallied and had shown a significant price movement. Ang resistance naman is kung makikita nyo dito sa example na to, nag yung mga buyers, right? At this point, this is at EURUSD. 
Mamaya, tingnan natin yung charts. Ito, sure ako. Itong uh, price na to, price level na to, was a significant level that the market sellers recognized that it is a strong level and it pushed the price downward. Mga nagbentahan tong mga to, so it it dropped the price so bad. Or for some, they say, for those sellers, so good. So, that's our concept of what resistance is. Okay? Punta ngayon tayo sa chart. Tingnan natin tong chart na to, tong EURUSD. Let's go to EURUSD. Okay. So, eto yon mga Kanoy P. Lagyan natin ng mark. Di ba ang rule natin? Is a price level is going to be strong if, number one, it has been tested in the past to become a resistance or support. Number two, it has been tested to become support. And number three, if it had become a strong rally uh, going up or down and then opposite of it happened. For example, dito, sa chart na to, malaki ang nirally ng mga buyers dito. Nalalaman natin na strong level to dahil malaki ang pinanggalingan at matapang din <laughs> ang pinagbabaan. Okay? So, let's look at ang rule. Diba? Remember, the rule is look left. Okay? I swear, I have not gone through this chart yet. So, pwede kong mapahiya sa example na to, mga Kanoy P. Pero, let's look at and test our knowledge. Okay. If you will see, this is a... It was tested here. Uh, going even further back to June 24, 2019, it's already showing a significant level. Balik pa tayo, mga Kanoy P. Ayun. So, satisfied level... Level... Test level 1, no March 19, March 21, 2000... Or 20... 2019, uh, this level was tested and it rallied significantly, right? So, satisfied ang, ang test level 2 natin. And, let's look further more. Nakikita nyo ba ang nakikita ko? I think you've seen it. Nilampasan natin siya. Ito. See this? Charan. This. That zone was a test. So, it showed a little bit of a false breakout. But, ang interpretation nito is, our market sellers had pushed it down to this level, it pushed it down to that level, and our market, isipin nyo ang dami na, eh? our market buyers did not accept. Meaning, para sa kanila, uy, sobrang mura na nitong price na to. Tara, let's go, let's buy. And those market buyers rallied it once again going up. Right? Again, this level satisfies that this is a strong resistance level. Okay? So, ngayon, eto na tayo today. Eh. Right? So, ako, what I'm going to do is I am going to sell at this level. Medyo confident ako that this will fall or sellers will drop or enter the market and buy or sorry and sell um, sell out which will drop and push the market price below okay so that is what resistance is okay binigyan ko na kayo ng snapshot of how this is going to be used or how it could be used 
um, for your trading strategy. But let's go back to our PowerPoint slide. And we're back. Dito naman, I'll show you, or I'll teach you what significance would your support and resistance be to your stop loss and take profit targets. Okay? Sa example natin kanina, di ba ito ang support zone natin? This is our support zone, right? Dito sa taas would be our resistance zone. Kung nandun ka na sa resistance, you don't want to buy. Right? Remember, statistics says that 70 to 80% of the time, okay, that's a little high, 70 to 80% of the time, when prices reaches a peak, whether that is your resistance or your support zone, 70 to 80% of the time, the price will bounce back. Okay, so kung nandito na kayo, this is your support, or sorry, your resistance zone, ayaw nyo nang mag-buy dyan. Kasi mataas na ang presyo dyan eh. What you want to do is to sell. This is the lesson I wanted to teach. Notice this gap from this point of where you're going to sell until your take profit zone. Okay. Yang agwat na yan from your selling point going down to your take profit, that is a huge pip volume. Ibig sabihin, malaki na yung kikitayin nyo dyan, right? Pero pansinin nyo yung agwat ng selling point nyo to your stop loss. Your stop loss is just a little bit or a tad away from your the tip of your your bar, kung saan kan merong uh, resistance zone. Okay? Siyempre, hindi naman sobrang layo. Right? You may probably do... It depends. It depends really sa itsura ng, ng, ng charts. Pero nilagay ko siya dito to show you an example that if you win, you will win big. But if you lose, you're going to lose small. So those price points. Yung mga support and resistance zones nyo, you have to mark that down. Kailangan nyo silang drawingan, kailangan nyo i-mark um, para hindi kayo malito. Right? Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa chart na to, may mga maliliit tayong resistance zones. Right? Ito, this is tested. Test 1, test 2, test 3. Right? Bago siya na break. Right? Forex no IP, significant din ba yun? Yes, it is also significant. Right? So, ayaw nyo naman maging magulo yung chart nyo na puro kayo drawing dito, puro kayo mark dito. That's why, you have to be very strategic. Don't do impulse trading. If you see and you notice, you mark them off, you mark off your charts, you put drawings in it, you put lines in it. Pag nakita nyo, tingnan nyo lang yung mga significant values. Depende kung nasan yung, nasan yung, yung price ngayon. Right? Dalhin natin tong example na to sa price charts. And let's see. Alright. Ito yung minark natin kanina. Tanggalin lang natin yung mga drawings. Right? So, kasi simula pa lang natin. I am on the daily chart. Right? Ang gagawin ko na, obvious na obvious na eh. Right? We have one resistance point here. Right? And we have one resistance point here. So, this is test number one. Test number two ng resistance. Right? So, malamang sa malamang, 80, 70 to 80% chance that the sellers will step in. In here. Right? Hindi siya na com hindi, wala tayong combination ng price action dito, just simple support and resistance rules, right? So, kung ako, magse-sell ako dito, right? I will sell at that when the market opens, right? Tapos, syempre, hindi ako magte-take profit ng napakalayo dito. Diba? Hindi ko yan ilalagay na take profit dyan. Although, pwede naman, kung gusto niya talagang maghintay ng pwedeng mangyari, ganyan gagawin, ganyan gagawin nyo. Pero, kung gusto niyo maging sigurado, this is what you do. 
right? Again, zoom out your charts and mark your support and resistance. Yung mga obvious lang, mga Kanoy P, like this. This is an obvious support. Lagyan lang natin dito. And right here. Ito could be a strong level. Why? Kasi it was challenged here. That's test 1. And then this is it's a support that was previously a resistance. Right? Tapos, ito pa. Pwede rin natin i-consider to because it's within the zone. It was tested again as a previous resistance. So, medyo strong din yung level na yan. So, kung ako ay magsesell, magsesell ako dito, tapos, yung take profit targets ko, is ibababa ko lang bago matapos or bago ako dumating sa support. Correct. Dito. Para, kung sakaling babagsak man yan, hindi ko na paabutin pang tumama doon sa, sa support line na yon Kasi, baka mamaya hindi tumama eh. Right? Who knows? Baka meron tayong mga market movers dyan na biglang i-push back up. They feel that uh, okay na to. Mababa na tong price na to para sa akin. So, let's go buy. Mapornada pa, right? Tapos, yung stop loss natin, kung makikita nyo, if I put this down, ang risk to reward ratio natin is already 1.21. Right? Pero masyadong mataas pa to eh. Markahan pa natin yung mga levels natin. Itong pinakadulong to, Nalagyan ko yan ng mark dyan. Tapos, i-adjust ko ngayon yung stop loss ko ng konti lang. Just a little bit above it. Right? So now, my risk is 1.76. Meaning, I will win more or 1.83%. Kung makikita nyo to, I will win more and I will lose very small. Kumbaga, if I am uh, trading this, ito yung amount, I would probably win at um, 1,000, I will win $1,440 and if I lose, I will only lose $750. Almost, diba? Almost double. Or not quite. So, that's our lesson for today. Masa tandaan nyo guys, mark your support and resistance levels when you look at your charts. Right? Ito, bonus na to. Pwede na to. Kung gusto nyo i-trade to, pwede. Just make sure to manage your risk. Okay? Hindi ako nakapag-disclaimer kanina, pero ngayon, I will tell you guys, these videos are for educational purposes only. You have your own control with your money. Okay? Labas ako dyan. Labas si Forex Noypi dyan. Right? Sinasabi ko lang, this is what I'm going to do. If it was me. But, I have to accept the loss if I do, if I do lose. If I don't, then that's great. Okay? So, just a quick recap lang tayo mga ka Noypi. Unang-una, your support levels and your resistance levels are not the holy grail. Okay? Pangalawa, the test for you to know if your support or resistance levels are strong, if it's one, tested. Okay? Siguro mga two to three times that it was tested, okay na yun. If it was pre if you're looking for a support, if you're looking for a support level, make sure that it is tested two to three times, right? Also, check if it was previously a resistance, like so. Ayan. Magrecap lang tayo mga kanoy pia. Eto, it was previously a resistance. Okay. 
Next, if it was a if there was a strong rally towards your support level, like this. There's a, there was a strong rally going down. There's another strong rally going down. Okay. Balik tarin lang natin yan for resistance. Okay, same level if it was tested once or twice. This was tested. Was it a previous support? Ayan, may kita nyo. It was a previous support right here. And was there a rally? Yes, there was. Here's the rally going down. And here's the rally going up. Okay. That's it for today, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for you to know more about Forex-related um, knowledge. Once again, here's your boy, Forex Noipi. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell and I will see you all on my next video. Trade safe and goodbye.